this is uh, Marv Industries Robert Fulton line engine. There isn't really a great deal to say about it. Um, it's uh, an American company. It's electrically heated, 110 volts obviously. So uh, we have a transformer to power it from. It's got a steel boiler, unfortunately, but uh, not a great deal we can do about that. It seems to be intact at the moment. Uh, not quite sure how long it will stay that way. When I bought it, it was not in perfect condition, not too bad, but not perfect. I had to replace the mains cable and um, the, the end of the piston rod had broken off, the uh, big end had broken off. Um, I did a temporary repair on that. Uh, I fully intending to do a proper job. But the temporary job has held so far, so I'm going to leave it until it does fail. I'm not sure which is on and which is off for the whistle. I'll assume it's a conventional way for the moment. That the horizontal is off. A lot of uh, whistles don't comply with that convention. The boiler's a bit bigger than it looks on the outside. It's a bit like the TARDIS. But um, it holds about 300 millilitres of water, half a pint. So it takes a while to, uh, to boil. But uh, I can hear sounds of water coming up to the boil so it won't be too much longer. So it looks as if the whistle does comply with the convention. Many there. Climbing a bit, but we're going.
the temporary, re re uh, temporary repair is doing a good job there. It's double acting cylinder and I don't know if it's clearly visible there. The, uh, there's no steam pipe as such. The back of the uh, port face is con uh, connected more or less directly into the boiler with two uh, stubs of pipes. means that it does prime very easily as it did at the start. Not a very tuneful whistle. Mind you, I don't think the, uh, the top is on properly. Just try to put the whistle top on properly. Still doesn't work. Not obvious why. Maybe it's still not on properly. It's difficult to see. There's new cable I fitted. Difficult to find cloth covered cable nowadays, but it is available. Let's go into an American style extension lead plugged into my heavy duty industrial 110 volt transformer. At this stage, I, with most engines, I usually uh, let the burner run out and then watch the engine slowly die. But being electrically powered, the burner won't burn out. At least I hope not. So, I'll just switch it off. And let it cool down.
That's it.